Good afternoon everyone. Today we are here to study the various components of a Bakri balloon and how it is used in atonic PPH. We shall also study the various modifications of condom catheters that can be used in a low resource setting. So to start with, the handling of Bakri balloon and various uh, other devices has to be done under sterile conditions. This video has been made only for demo purposes. So this Bakri balloon, it comes in a sterile packaging. It comes along with a 60 ml syringe and a 1 cm long IV tubing. This Bakri balloon, it is made up of latex free silicon material. It has a 24 French catheter as you can see and which is around 54 centimeters long. So the length of this catheter is 54 centimeters. This Bakri balloon catheter, it comes with an eye at the top which, which facilitates drainage and it's got a drainage port here which can be connected to a Euro bag. The most important component of this Bakri balloon is this balloon which has a capacity of around 500 ml and this is inflated with the help of a rapid installation port. This rapid installation port comes along with a 2 s stopcock. Now let us see how the stopcock is used for filling this balloon. Now we are going to demonstrate the installation of this Bakri balloon for which we are going to need this rapid installation port, a 20 uh, to 60 ml of syringe or IV tubing that comes along with it. And this IV tubing we are going to connect to a normal saline and put it on an IV stand. Now we are going to connect this IV line to one of the ports and connect the syringe to the other port. Now we are going to fill the syringe and install it in the balloon. As you can see the balloon is getting inflated. So connecting an IV line like this uh, saves a lot of time. Instead of this, you can also take help of an assistant who fills the syringe for you and gives it to you. But that would be a little time consuming. So like this. 